Michelle Murphy of Mur Murphy Watson and Company, and I'm here with my co-host John Watson, and I'm so happy to see you today. I'm happy to see you. You look vibrant and beautiful in this beautiful um, purple jewel tone today. Well, purple's supposed to be a very good color for keeping the good spirits around you. Oh. So I have two great good spirits with oh. me, right? <laughs> right. Today on Murphy Watson and Company, we are so fortunate to have a husband and wife team, Dynamos. <laughs> we have Jen Leroy Walton and we have Tony Walton. Jen, hi. Hi. Uh, hi Jen Tony. is an ex-model and writer and lovely woman whom I adore. And uh, Tony is an Oscar, Emmy, and Tony winner, director, designer, uh, a, you know, big force Lots in the theater. Yes, <laughs> yes. And um, another one of my favorite people, and I know Michelle feels the same way. So we're thrilled to have you today on the show. Thrilled to be here. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. At your busy schedules, we were so glad you were out here. And you've been out here because of the play at Guild Hall. Right. Tonight yes. at 8.30. Yeah. Which has it's, been fantastic well, success. It's a great, well, it's a great treat. It was actually a choice of Blythe Danners, who's mm -hmm. starring in it. And uh, she had done two of the plays, I think, in 2000 in uh, Williamstown and had, had a good time. And uh, so when she recommended it to the wonderful artistic director at Guildhall, Josh Gladstone, he said, oh, Tony Walton's been bugging me about that for years. He wanted what? to do it with Alec uh, Baldwin. Yes. <laughs> and so she said, oh, let's get him. So that's how it happened. And, uh, most of the cast, I'm proud to say, are local folk. We have a couple of really distinguished mm. New Yorkers, Simon Jones, mm -hmm. among, who plays the old coward roles yeah. amongst them. But the bulk of the rest of the cast are from this territory. And m m with the exception of one, two, uh, I've been lucky enough to work with all of them before in mm -hmm. previous things, either at Bay Street or at Guildhall. So I loved this experience. And of course, Noel Coward means a great deal to me for reasons that take too long to explain right now. But <laughs> if you want to poke later <laughs> and pry, I, I can tell I you know more. <laughs> you laid flowers and did some introduction at the <clears throat> annual Noel Coward yes, event. Yes, I did that once, yeah. In uh, bro at the around, Broadway Theatre, theater. yes, yes yeah. right. Um, it, this was partly because I've worked on a lot of Noel Coward pieces, mm -hmm. both as designer and director. Actually, my very first directing assignment in which I was employed by my daughter, Emma, <laughs> really? at Bay Street, yeah, was an evening of Noel Coward plays called uh, Noel Coward in Two Keys, for which I had B.B. Newworth and D. Hoti and... Bibi said, I can't, I've never done a play in my life. And I said, I've never directed one. Why don't we do these <laughs> nevers together? Bibi said <laughs> yes. that? Yeah. 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 Really? And a D. Hoti and oh. Twiggy's fabulous husband, the actor Lee Lawson. And, uh, Bobby and Bobby Carnavale. Bobby Carnavale. It was almost his first role, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Right. Great. Yes. It was very exciting. Um, so, but the key reason, I'll try not to make too much of a meal of this, is that my... Mom and Dad got engaged at I knew Noel we'd Coward get to the real Coward. secret here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom and dad got engaged. Engaged at Bittersweet, Noel Coward's first yeah. triumphant musical, uh, from which comes I'll See You Again. And, and comes and you. Love We're All. Eventually. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because Probably. my dad's uncle mm -hmm. was the producer of that show, the sort of English Ziegfeld oh. called C.B. Cochran, who produced most of Coward's greatest hits. None of, none of this was mentioned to us as we were growing up because really? for a rather distinguished surgeon's family to be associated with theatricals was a bit, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that your father was a distinguished surgeon. surgeon. Yes. Oh. Wait, your yes. father has the best name. Yes. Can you please, I love this name. Lancelot Henry Frederick. Isn't that a yes. great name? <laughs> Lancelot. Yes. I've never yes. known a, a Lancelot, Lancelot in real life. So that's, his uh, very pretty wife was called yeah. Dawn. Because not really, that's See? yes. <laughs> she got it, not legitimately like you, but because she hated her name, which was Betty. And the local doctor, where they came to live, used to say to her every time he met them, you are as pretty as the rising dawn. 
Oh, that's so, that's so lovely. That Everyone feeling. tells her that every morning. Yes, good. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's not I'll get too crazy. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so you were you were talking about, and I think this is something that's very interesting as well with your parents because they both grew up um, in towns or villages yes, or hamlets. They were and what I describe as the bread and the sandwich of Noel Coward. He lived in the town between the two of them. My dad was in a very sort of upper crust uh, town, and my mom's was sort of middle class, very pretty on the Thames and Richmond, mm -hmm. and right between them in Teddington grew up Noel Coward, who was that lower middle class. And, of course, you know, the amazing thing about him that was that from a very early age, mm -hmm. he and Gertrude Lawrence were both performing together as pre-teens, very, very young. And um, he was immediately sort of picked up by an upper-class theatrical group, and he got to know, uh, so to say, upper-class and was appalled by them. So, <laughs> Which is the focus a lot on tonight, 8.30. Yes. 830. It's a lot of class. play, of course, is right. about these, what Jen calls the... Entitled. The entitled, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Which doesn't go amiss entirely in this territory. Mm -hmm. No, I must this? say. <laughs> yes. But I, I, I found it very interesting, and maybe it was in the playbill, that they said that Noel Coward actually came from a lower middle class yes, background, yes. which one wouldn't assume mm, right. because he's so aware of the upper crust. Right, and of course he finally got to a position where he was able to show them how to behave. Ah, <laughs> yes. And talk and, and yes, so forth, you know, it was amazing. <laughs> yes. And one of his closest chums was the Queen Mum, the Queen Mother. <laughs> did, did you we spend a lot of time with him? Uh, my very first production as a designer in New York was for him. Beautiful, so. beautiful musical called Conversation Piece, mm -hmm. from which comes I'll Follow My Secret Heart and, and a lot of other beautiful things. Yeah. Um, and he was a great surprise to me, because mm -hmm. as with many people, I sort of expected him to be acerbic and tart mm -hmm. and, you know, tough. Mm -hmm. But he was the gentlest gentleman you could ever hope to meet him. He was so kind to everybody. Yeah. I don't know if you saw in the Dan's paper, he chose a thing that I told him about a rather well-known actress of a certain age who was in this production of Conversation Piece, and she couldn't remember a line. Mm -hmm. And I remember seeing him at the final mm -hmm. tech dress rehearsal, sitting in the auditorium, like this only more so, like a pretzel, you know, all his yeah. arms <laughs> intertwined, knotted together in agony oh. as she couldn't come up with the line. And his habit was to line the cast up on stage and go down the line like a major general, you know, give these very nuts and bolts little notes. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said the leading lady was Arthur Miller's sister, Joan Copeland. Who's wonderful, and he said oh, a couple I of things. We know her. her yes. 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 yes, she was out here for yes. the LVIS fair. Oh. Yes, oh. yes. Oh. I, uh, she recently told me that she still has the show curtain from that show as her living room curtains in her home. Oh, how <laughs> dear <laughs> is that? But, uh, yeah. but anyway, he said something very helpful to her, and she said, Oh, of course. Well, you know. And then he went along to this ginger wigged, extremely old actress who Mosshart swore had acted with Booth. <laughs> <laughs> and when he got to her, the whole company froze in panic of what he might do, you know. And he just took a step back and he said, Darling, it gives me so much pleasure to see you back on the boards again that I don't think I have anything else to offer. And he moved on to the next person and she just fell into Joan's arms and said, did you hear that? Oh. And of course she gave her such line. a resurgence of confidence uh, yes. mm -hmm. that she was fine with her lines. After that? After, yeah. That's yeah. an actor to act, a really smart thing mm -hmm. to do. Yeah. Now mm -hmm. he's really going to blush, but I have to say, you've learned from Noel Coward, I've learned so much from you and Jen. Oh. You are sure. both two of the most mm -hmm. generous and kind oh people oh. I have ever met. Yes. Oh, Unfailingly. <laughs> How on earth did we give you that impression? <laughs> you are. <laughs> and um, perhaps, you know, one passes that torch on. And mm. to me, in life, probably that's the number one trait I think is the um, 
the glue or the um, mm -hmm. the way to get through life. Kindness, you know? yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah. So thank you both. Oh, You've thank totally you. influenced thank you me. Oh, thank you. Thank you look at things. Lovely thing to say. It's so from the heart, and I've known mm. you a very long time, yeah. and I've I've seen you in all situations, and yeah. you know people go through thick and thin, mm. yes. and uh, we've been through your heart operation at one point, yes. all sorts of things with family, yeah, know, and know. you mm. know you. And then that's the way you approach life, though. Yeah. And well. then cancer during the time he was directing. Equus. Equus he <gasps> was 60 or 70 pounds thinner and no hair yes. and in a wheelchair. <laughs> yes. Can you believe it? He's so really And now he's and directing boyish. <laughs> and probably going yeah. through the line the same way Noel Coward did, even oh, yeah. with well, that. Right? There. That's just yeah. the way you are. I think, it, no, I think it was just, uh, I had a sense that Alec Baldwin, with, huh? who was starring in Equus, said yes. my dad had the same kind of cancer. And he said, don't do this to yourself. Just put yourself to bed and take it easy. He said, you know, I said, I don't think I can do that. You know, yeah. If you can put up with it, I'd like to go ahead. I had three other directing things in that same chemo spell, and his was the last. So I was getting very frail by then, and I was, of course, Humpty Dumpty, bald and wheelchair and microphone. And, oh, you look very and, dapper, don't you <laughs> think, yeah. Jen? You know? Little sailor hat, yeah. 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 Very cute. Well, and that show was incredible. Well, it oh, was. Yeah. Yeah. It was well, really good. We, I was rushed by Jen to New York in <laughs> under an hour, I think. Leadfoot Leroy. Oh, <laughs> Leadfoot Leroy. An emergency thing. And, um, and the policemen pay no attention. And I was <laughs> insistent I had to get back. We were not, not quite finished with text, and we were just a day or so away from our first preview. And I was, you know, being wheeled down the aisle in the theater and saying, let's go, okay, and then we'll start it so and so. And Alex said, wait a moment. And he said, you want to tell me? You should tell oh, us. Oh, I shouldn't. Anything. Yes, you should. Yeah. Okay, and Alex said, um, you okay? To Tony, and Tony said, yes, I am. We should, and he said, I would just want to say something, you know. I sometimes have trouble sleeping, and I have this terrible Everybody thing knows back. I'm an insomniac. You know, yeah. you know, I've got a terrible back problem, you know. <laughs> and my shoulder hurt this, you know, all night. And I woke up this morning, I said, my goodness, you know, it's tech rehearsal. Anyone could stand the light while they focus the light. You know, I'm going to call and say, you know, my shoulder really hurts. And I, I wouldn't have done it except for you. <laughs> they use a violence. You, you, oh, yeah. poor Alec. He's got a sore shoulder. He's got cancer. <laughs> you know, I said, how could I do that? So I had to. Just, he was actually yeah, he was an so, angel. He was, yeah. he he was amazing. amazing. He's, 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 he's a real he's thing, I saw him he? this morning on my way here. Yeah. Well, I actually saw him last weekend. Yeah. He's marvelous. Yeah. He's yeah. the real yeah. thing yeah. as an actor. He is yeah. the real. He is really he's quite so, talented. Oh, he's so he's funny. Yeah. He's one of the funniest people. If his career was in England, he would be Olivier now. He's you know, it's just extraordinary. He is extraordinary. Throughout Equus, which he could have phoned in, because from the first preview, the audience just rose and screamed. You know. Right. <laughs> but all throughout, he asked for notes every night and so on. And the final day, we had a matinee, mm -hmm. and they had a really, probably the best performance they had had. Mm -hmm. And I went backstage, and Alex said, what do you think? And so I said that, and I think this is probably the best. He said, that's what we were all thinking. Oh, good, oh, good. So you probably don't have any notes. I said, oh, yeah, I didn't say that. <laughs> and, he said, <laughs> and he said, oh, give me, give me. And I said, no, are you nuts? You've got one left. Let it fly. Yeah. Do whatever you feel. He said, no, no. I want to get one right. I live for this stuff. That's amazing. Isn't that yeah, great? Yes. It's great. That's great. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Always the, yeah. the humility of being yeah. able to yeah. want to improve. Yeah. And, and yeah. your wonderful granddaughter was yes. in it. Oh, Georgia oh, Free, yeah. Georgia she, Warner. Yeah. She, she yes. mm -hmm. Was, she was incredible. amazing yeah. and yeah. certainly brave yeah. Yeah. because she disrobed. For what those who have not seen Equa, she disrobed yeah. um, during the show. Yeah, and so. um, what a fantastic! She's a fantastic actress. She also has a nice little figure, yeah. which always helps. <laughs> uh, Especially in that part. Might but. be coming from you. This is a perfect time to talk about this because I just discovered having that we've only known each other a, a short <laughs> amount of time. Uh, but I do agree with Michelle. You're both effervescent and bubbly and wonderful oh. people. I love you. Um, so, so I'm th thrilled you're here. But she must have gotten some beauty somewhere down the line from you because what I discovered is that you are were a Norman Rockwell <laughs> model. I I'm was. astounded and, and beautiful. Um, I saw those. I said, I've seen these. Mm -hmm. She hid this for time. No, I didn't know. Well, she's I didn't know she's, she's, yeah, she's got it. Very modest. Well, I had, I had, had this, yeah, I loved person. Norman. I was his New York model. And I went recently up to the museum where his things in are. In Stockbridge? Yeah, and I spoke, and I, they had discovered all these other photographs he'd taken of me. Because sometimes he'd come to New York and just say, well, 
do some expressions and they would end up on a toothpaste ad. They said, did you do a toothpaste ad? I said, I don't think I did. But there was a photograph of me, oh. <laughs> smiling, whatever it was. He was lovely and I adored him and he was so sweet and mm. cute and, and kind, jolly. He right? was very Another kind. teacher. He was a lovely, lovely guy, <laughs> man. Really was. And some of them, one in particular cover I'm proud of is very iconic. It's the sailor and the girl. I love that. But You're would, flirting yeah. with your hands. But he like would this. call up, yeah. and I was working for a photographer at that time mm -hmm. who took photographs for illustrators. Uh -huh. And he would call up, and I was on the phone. He'd say, OK, I need a, a no chair, and I have to do it on this Sunday. I can't come in. And I the need no to. The no chair, by the way, was for the Easter cover. In oh, which yeah, is the mother and the, the two daughters. Yeah, while the mother. Yeah, yeah, oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, well, I know yeah. she was. And the naughty yeah. husband yeah. has his you hair were. and it'll. No, he was. Because he's know not that. going to church. <laughs> <laughs> the three, the mother and the two daughters are yeah. off to church and they have these in his yeah. dressing room. Oh, I saw that. I saw that. I saw that. I saw that. I saw But anyway, but that was a very nice time. I equally did at the same time to support myself was doing commercials. And one of Which them. Which I did, and we yes, have that in course. common for and years. And one is, yes. has remained to plague me to this very day. No. <laughs> yeah, just do tell, I do I tell. Do tell. Well, it was, I'm going to use a product name, okay? Okay. It was years ago, I did, I was flown down to Florida to do a Listerine commercial, and it was one of those, Betsy, On do I beach. have bad mm. breath? Mm. And that kind of thing. <laughs> and, okay, so I, I did it, we got the money. Uh, my daughter was about two, and, and she... Uh, Bridget. Her, yeah, Bridget. And her father and I had, were separated and getting a divorce. And, Warner um, and Roy. And so yeah. we went out, she and I, uh -huh. on my lap, out to California, and I was invited to a big party uh, for the Oscars mm -hmm. at this, at, I think it was Tony Newley's house or something mm -hmm. like that. Anthony and, um, Newley, as we think of him. Anthony and Joan Newley, Collins, right, Joan is Collins, his wife right. Then. Anyway, that, it was jammed, and I was in there. I felt kind of embarrassed being alone and not with mm -hmm. someone there, you know. But any case, uh, I, we were watching the awards coming in, and the commercial came on. Oh. Anyways, Betsy, do you want to have bad And someone <laughs> said, Is that you, Jenna? Went, ah. No, no. Couldn't. God, she looks at me. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was on again, again. I said, oh. I, I was. Oh. I, got, I had to get out of there. Right? <laughs> and then more recently, my was it my daughter? No, was it, it was, Bridget? No. Uh, Someone found it. They, Nancy Joe. Oh, Nancy Joe, our uh -huh. friend Nancy Joe in California, found it. Mm -hmm. And it went viral. Oh, and everyone no. suddenly said, hello, Jen. <laughs> Germs. You know, they just quoted lines for the commercial. I know, it's disappeared Actually, now. Actually, it's just enchanting. Oh, no, it's it it must be. Yeah. Yeah. Now we have to it's find that. Yeah. No, no, oh, no. There were others that were better, but it usually had to do with body things, you know, like dove, prell, yeah. hair things. That's all a little better. I was always washing mm -hmm. myself. Yes. yes. I was always like, washing. I was puckered and wrinkled for a while, you know. <laughs> But well, one question about Norman Rockwell. Well, yeah. He worked from photographs then. You yeah. didn't sit there and pose no, no, for no. weeks on no, end. No, no, no. Yeah. No. Yeah. Would he collage them together or do the set and everything? He, that, that's what he was brilliant at, and Tony pointed yeah. that out too. Mm -hmm. He was a brilliant designer, set designer. He was really sort of the a ultimate historian. art director. He, art director, he knew right. how to put a chair just outside a doctor's office that made you know, oh, that must be a doctor's office, mm -hmm. you know, just yeah. from the choice of the piece All the of choices, furniture. everything on the wall, his, the, the small bits, that was all him. I used I him, mean, by the way, as my oh, uh, lodestar for the, the Dustin Hoffman film of Death of a Salesman. <coughs> I don't know if you ever see it, but if you do, it comes up every so often mm -hmm. on television. Um, most of the imagery stems from Norman Rockwell. It's like a sort of... Exploded. That's Norman Rockwell. Amazing. Yeah. That's true. That was a wonderful. He, he, he uh, you look at any, you could place where you are in history by one of the covers. Mm -hmm. You know what Thanksgiving the, dinner. Yeah. Yes, and yeah. what kind of people they are, working class, whether mm -hmm. they're professionals, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. He just, he just got it. He just yeah. Yeah. could understand it. So and of course, he exactly had the, whole the right set. period thing. Sorry. Is it? The, exactly the right period things. If it, so you can tell, oh, that's in the 50s, and immediately. Yeah. It's so interesting mm -hmm. that you marry <clears throat> a costume and set designer, mm -hmm. and you had that enchanting relationship with a costume and set designer, basically. Mm -hmm. Not romantic, but mm -hmm. uh, he influenced you. And, and so did he have the whole set 
in the background, and you would go and stand in front of it, and then you no, would it paint depended it or? on the one, the Easter one. Mm -hmm. That was get, I, I found the children, would make sure okay. they had the clothes, and then we had to make it look mm -hmm. as they were walking. So we put books underneath one leg and the other leg, oh, so it looked smart. as if they were in yeah, <laughs> mid stride. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. And so he would take the photographs and and put them together back up in, in um, But then he messages. adapted the photographs, didn't he? And yeah, he, yeah, made he adapted changes them. Well. But it's really never amazing. the whole set. Like uh, Eric Fischel today. Sorry. Yes, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. that kind of thing, yeah. But you were dressed. <laughs> no, but he right, saying, do you, have, yeah. do you have a, a suit? Oh, I did a bride, that's right. He, uh, there's one of, um, he did for um, Mutual of uh, Massachusetts, oh, M.O., oh. whatever it is. And Mutual it's of Omaha? Plate. No, no, it's, it's something. Uh, anyway, continue. Yeah, it was an, an insurance company, and it was in Massachusetts. Maybe it's Maine. Oh no, it's Maine. And it's a plate, and it's it's a bride, and, and the the guys. I hired him, and that was my very first wedding. I'm sorry, everyone, but I was married for about four months or something, way long ago, and that was the little wedding dress. So he would ask for costumes, whatever he thought he needed. And you would bring the costume, yeah. and you would do some of the casting as yeah, well. Yeah, because I was working at the... And the find the furniture. I yeah. love that. And the furniture. Yes. Boy. Well, well, it's nearly always great fun. Though. I'm yeah. going gonna, gonna to go on the same... Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to go off on a little tangent, but kind of from the same thread. You two have been together for 30-some years. What's 48. What, 48. 48. Yeah. I thought it was like 30-something. Yeah. Oh, but my. So, but you took, a, you took a long time to, to finally tie the knot. I know oh, that. Yeah. 25. We got married on our 21st anniversary. anniversary. I love that. Very, how did you meet? I mean, did you meet at ah. Anthony Newley's house? Or how did <laughs> no, this happen? No, it was very interesting how we met, isn't it? We met at Warner's. No, actually, we met before that. But no, 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 we, no, didn't we met at Warner's we Theatre. Her, her ex-husband. Yeah, I hadn't married him yet. We were just, mm -hmm. and he called me up because I was going to art school. And he said, oh. you've got to come here. You've got to see this. This is amazing. Just drop whatever you're doing and come over here. So I went about two blocks away where he had a theater, which later became Maxwell's Plum. Um, so that was 64th and 1st. That's it. Yeah. Very wow. good. I lived good around the corner there, when that was too. blooming. And that so was pretty much there. the year. Or not so there it was. It was a, a show <laughs> called Valmouth. And there it was. And here you, Tony was running up and down the aisle. He was fixing this. And, and he said, it was amazing. It was magical looking. It was just daring. And the colors were explosions. Mm -hmm. I, you, you just went, wow. It excited you. I mean, just seeing something on stage. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just an ordinary, you know, play with mm -hmm. and, and Tony furniture. had done this? He had done sets mm -hmm. and costumes. And, and we said and, hello. We all And became you were so married funny. at the time. Not no, 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 this oh, is when they oh, met. You were about, about to get married. We oh. met actually in like nineteen fifty nine. Oh yeah. nineteen fifty eight, yeah. fifty nine. Before mm -hmm. you had Bridget. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, I wasn't yeah. even married to Warner yet. Okay. So we, there was we a little into each other foreshadowing we kept, we of kept things bumping to come. into each okay. other, and yeah. then eventually, even in England, yeah. in the opening yeah, nights in London, right. suddenly there would be Warner and Jan. Yeah. So hi. So whatever. Did you have a big crush? No, no, <laughs> well, we didn't, I certainly no. noticed it. Yeah. No, but you're a loyal man. Of course you he were. He would not. Yeah. He wouldn't have done no. anything like that. No. Um, whenever, finally, when I was separated, and Tony actually was separated from Julie, who we adore. Yeah, and, uh, and we, adored, so we adored Warner. I mean, up until the it's very Jenny, last, we Jenny loved him. to Julie as our ex. <laughs> oh, I love and, that. And, you know, and Warner, when he was building on a house, and they had a Bridget's girls' house. lunch together yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> Just the two I of us. Love her. <laughs> yeah, I isn't that? I think that's the way it should be. The I mean. trashing of Tony that went on at that. Well, exactly. no. <laughs> oh. well, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Keep you <laughs> I'm that way with my ex. Yeah, my mm -hmm. husband gives him clothes. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's and he tailors them because my ex is quite slender. Mm. Oh, anyway, how but it's nice when yeah. that can work. And Warner and we were best friends until the very last yeah. part of his Which life. Which is important. And your oh, children are yeah. all blended yeah. beautifully. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. They're mm. interesting. a huge I'm family. Incredibly lucky it is a that. wonderful yeah. group. A mm. wonderful, I mean, and fascinating Steve group. has Sam and Hope who are the best. They're the best. I Rankin. love Sam. Sam was born on my birthday, so in fact, he belongs to me. They don't know it yet. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I won't take away, but hope is to die. She's such yeah. a divine creature. Yeah. Such yeah. a divine. And then Bridget has such an incredible interest. I know. 
interesting. <laughs> Georgia is yes. extraordinary. And Bingham. she's lived with you in yeah. the city, I know. Yeah. This is about and then we have Joe. Three years yes. now. Who was a, a dynamo. She's still with He's you? Amazing. Isn't he great? He's a great kid. And then, of course, you've got Bing. We, we Bing. Make sure we mention Bingham. everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Bing was always, he's got, he's the only trombone player in, in Bridgehampton School, middle school. He is? Yeah, because no one else wants to play it. Yeah. So you have to have long arms. Him. No, it's not that. He has to <laughs> shoot it down. So you okay. see the band, and they're all playing. Then you see this thing show, shooting down off the side. And it's his trombone, <laughs> because he'll, he'll hurt someone if he goes like that. <laughs> <laughs> so we can always find him. And Sam, who is a magical, magical kid, yes. um, has just acquired a 1966 Six. Yeah. Mustang. He's to doing, renovate I've seen this. As his, as his senior, senior project. project. Yeah, he's yeah. going to be. Wow. He has and to talk to my husband, who's a car guy. Well, no, oh, this, is, well, this is even better. This, what? Well, this is exactly the car. That we had in San Francisco. Oh, okay. Yeah. When we were first <laughs> yeah. No, but he's going to. Re this is his senior project, mm -hmm. and he has to find out what's wrong. To do an assessment, do a list of things he has to do to bring it back to its original status. So that means repainting it, really? refixing everything. Go. He just dives into the front. And he's, you know, it, fixing things. But it's he's wonderful. filming it, which is what I think yes. is amazing. Yes. Oh. There's a whole film project as well. Yes. As well. It's yeah. yeah. multifaceted. Yeah. It's yeah. absolutely and it incredible. it turns out that its first owner was Reggie, uh, the New York Yankees. No. no. Reggie was Jackson? Yes. yes. No, yeah. You're kidding. Like, you don't mean that. You no, mean, who was the one whose ba who's bat he got? The bat. The bat. Now, you've, now you said Reggie Jackson. Oh. Oh. Okay, let me think about it. I like all the names. Who's that the get musician? About the here. Yankee musician who became, you know, became a jazz musician. Oh, well, we I'm not. A, I'm, not a, I'm not a. I'm not a sports girl. So no, I don't I'm know. not. Either. No. Mm. Okay. But um, let's. Look, I uh, want to talk. We have a very, very short amount of time left, which is so sad. Uh, um, will you come back when you're out uh, here sometime? Yeah, please, we have please. Please. Yeah, Tell us what's we'll coming up cookies. next. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry. But tell us what's coming up next for the both of you in under a minute. <laughs> well, poor Jen has become drowned in trying to catalog my 55 plus years worth of stuff, all my designs and models and so on, because the Library of Congress is, they've been acquiring it in little lumps over the years, mm -hmm. and in around 2000 they finally said we'd like to get it all. And That's I, said, I have no idea what that means. We've had and so 10 now rooms we're trying to catalogue and wow. photograph yeah. and measure and where and ten is rooms this in New, exactly? New Hampshire because we can't it's afford it. It's in New Hampshire. Yeah, we're bringing it, it, it down okay. piecemeal. And then because oh, you then, lived yeah. there for a while. No. 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 We just her brother cheaper. lives there. My brother lives up there, but oh. it's Bridget cheaper. Was there for a bit. So yes. where will we see all of this eventually? Is it going to be at the Library of Congress? Library of Congress. So much and it's a daunting. He saved everything. And you get, an, you get a whole view of how, how a, the evolution of a play from the seminal point where it's an idea on the end of a napkin to every trace, every finished drawing, everything, to the model, to the white model, to the regular wow. model, to the finished model that's been in the Smithsonian and traveled around because they're so perfect. But to it never organized any of it. It was just... And that's, where it is. that's an artistic <laughs> temperament. Before we go, I yes. just have to say, Jen is a fantastic playwright in her own. Absolutely. And I love not waving, uh, and I want all your plays to come back, both yeah, of you. Our most recent Sweet. play is called Missing Footage. I mean, it is Missing fabulous. footage. Oh. It's about a prematurely sidelined ballerina and what happens to the moths around the flame when she's oh. sidelined. It's a wonderful subject. Or the people who need that magic in their lives. Don't and we all? Ooh. You bring it, you two. No, he directed it. And we need oh, you to come okay. back so we mm -hmm. don't have more missing footage here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. Oh, That's so sweet to say that. You girls are Thank the divine. You.